Hey, how do you look at problems? What do you say when a problem comes through the door or is on the phone or in an email or face to face? What do you say inside your head? What's the questions maybe that come out of your mouth? Why did this happen to me? Why does this always happen? Have you had that kind of feeling? Have you, have you thought about how you deal with problems? Well, it's really important that we do learn to deal with problems in a completely different way than the typical way of people dealing with problems. When a problem comes, the actual expression that comes from our lips is, oh no. Said that? Have you felt that? And that problem that uh, you know thought you thought was gone and put away, and it's like, again? Those are processes of limiting beliefs. A belief that says a problem is going to be absolutely a stalemate for you. It's going to be, you know, a nightmare for you. It's going to be just problem after problem solving and, oh my gosh, so tiring. Instead, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. What a great opportunity to utilize my strength, my abilities, to, to hone my skills. I know that sounds kind of... Um, far-fetched sometimes when you're really faced with a difficulty but if you would take your mind and utilize two very important scriptures that would represent what I'm sharing with you as a as a principle of life on how to deal with problems things would really begin to change and the momentum of problems no longer would hold you but will be the very staircase for you and I to climb higher to be stronger so here is some points. James 1 says, Rejoice when you face trials of every kind, whether they're finance, whether they're health, whether they're relational. What doesn't make a difference? Hey, you just dropped uh, your briefcase and everything fell all over. That's a problem. But rejoice through those trials and tribulations because if you persevere, if you deal with them, you will become mature and lack nothing. The other part of it is Romans 12 Two that says daily, daily, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's really where it comes down to the rubber meeting the road. Renew your mind. If I look at a problem and the problem gets me, I'm under the problem. If the problem comes in and I look at it as an opportunity, that opportunity now is ruled over, mastered over, and achieved and accomplished and completely built upon the foundation of your growth. It continues to build your growth up as you go along. So here's your challenge today, and all of us, in the problems of day to day, some bigger, some smaller, check, check what you say in your head. Check how you look at a problem. Check and recheck and transform by renewing your mind. Wow, what an opportunity. Wow, what will this turn out to be for the good when I get this accomplished, when I get this completed, when I get this completely done? And then you're going to see something. You're really going to see problems no longer even knocking on your door because problems will be less and less because you won't see them and draw them to you so often because you know that problems can be absolute opportunities for your life to succeed. Does that make sense to you? I hope it does. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Judith. Good morning, all of you this morning, and, and hope that at this time you have a, a, a new renewed mind that will take you to the next level every time a problem comes through the door. Real story, close off on this. You know, yesterday there was some real challenges that came through the door. And at first I said, why me? Why do I always have to deal with this situation? And I did just what I shared with you. I closed my door before I dealt with the problem. I closed my eyes and I began to get rid of the limiting belief. And I began to transform and renew my mind with new confession, new thoughts, new affirmations. I rolled them over my mind until they really dropped into my heart so I really believed them. And I want to tell you something. When I came out of my office, that problem was gone. The situation was still there. But the problem 
the difficulty of the thought being something that could rule over me, that could really control me, was gone. And what was left was the ability to deal with the situation and move forward and rise up. You do the same today, and I will try my best to do the same. And give me your comments, and tomorrow I'll see you with a new inspiration and dose of encouragement. Have a beautiful day, and remember that beauty and change comes from within. So be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Have a beautiful day.